Yeah, they'll have um, all these old. Phelps Dodge bought the the bought the the mine really the Copper Queen mine, and uh, in uh, the 1800s, and they were a they created a company town, and part of being a company town is all your merchandise came in to, there were a couple of stores, but the company quickly created a, a company store. Um, but they created this gigantic, like, store that sold absolutely everything the miner needed. And the easy part was that all you had to do was come in and give them your, your uh, tag number, because you're an employee of the mine, and they would put it on your tab. They could take it home. So for all the miners and their families, they could come down and just get a pair of shoes and put them on the tab. And they, so it was very efficient and very easy. So, so that grew and grew and grew. Of course, we had uh, fires because they built everything out of wood. Until about 1908, they actually got serious about about fires, and they started building as mandating that everything be built out of brick. And uh, this building essentially sits as the center of town. We've got parking on one side, Main Street on the other. So it, it ends up, because it's a mercantile, we have a bodega, we have a coffee house, we have a restaurant, it's sort of designed to be the center point and the start of your experience in Bisbal. It's not one of the oldest, it's one of the newest ones. Actually, when you're looking at Main Street here, most of these were built in the early 1900s, uh, 1904 through 1917. There was another mercantile that was there and burnt down, and then uh, uh, at the time, that was when Phelps Dodge came back and rebu rebuilt their mercantile by uh, Del Webb. So the story that I've been told from some people in the Del Webb organization was that Del Webb left here as a young man and went to Las Vegas, where the story unfolded, and now everybody knows the story of Del Webb, who continued to expand his construction and his uh, developments throughout the Southwest. And but he started right here in Bisbee and Fort Huachuca, up, up the street. So really, it's, it's a great, great old building. Uh, it's, it's one of a kind, unique concrete construction. Uh, you won't find this kind of construction anywhere else. Uh, I think it was Lesher and Mahoney that were the uh, were the contract the the uh, architects. So it's a great old building. Uh, still needs a lot of work, and we're just here every day, keeping it all together. From here, from this particular building, the reason why it became so famous is because he met Bugsy Siegel, which was the pretty much founder of Las Vegas and he met him at the Copper Queen Hotel which resides right across the street and they got together and Bugsy Siegel brought him to Vegas and in doing so he then designed and built the Flamingo Hotel and went on to do a lot other things in Vegas and then became um, part owner of the of the New York Yankees. <laughs> so um, that became he became even more well known after that. One of the it is the biggest central building in our downtown area, and of course so uh, we love it. It has all the the, uh, the great coffee shops and uh, and some wine stores and lots. Of, that's where our radio station broadcasts out of. So it's a it's a really cool building because it's Art Deco. So it's that's what makes us so eclectic. In this town, it isn't all dark Art Deco. It's all no, some other. It, there is a, a little bit of every bit of architecture in this town, and that's what makes it. Um, a very special town and, and why it is so historic.